shop. Hopefully you can hear me over the mill running. Anyway, I uh, got the face and attachment set up here, so I figured cutting the hose connection on this thermal housing would be a nice easy job to do on this. Uh, I've got plenty of swing here to be able to do it. figured the best way to center this up on top of the uh, I need to build some kind of indicator that I can use on this bar probably to make that better but I'm just going to dial my way in down on it because it's not a super critical thing anyway it just needs to be true and want to keep the maximum amount of material and it's casting so uh, it's not going to be true to indicate anyway Just needs a little heat. But it does go on. 
So let's get that part out of the way. And that beautiful wheel. The other night I didn't film it, but I did the same thing. This uh, exhaust housing piece, I set it up on the mill and cut out inside here so that there's a pilot. So now when this goes on to the back of the turbocharger, it'll have a flange in here. So that'll help keep it centered without just relying on the V-band to do it. And also that'll help keep it from leaking because instead of just sealing it flat against the face, the exhaust will actually be entering back in here and it would have to come back around and come back out. So once this gets a little soot in there, it'll pack in tight and should not ever leak. So that ought to be good. So just another little tip from old Brian, how to make your setup better. Fits up good. So one more piece of the puzzle done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.